In this video, I'll be describing some basic concepts for using HTML to create web pages. Let's first start with a couple of definitions. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language, and XHTML stands for Extensible Hypertext Markup Language. Both of these are markup languages which are used for the creation of web pages, and they are very similar. XHTML was derived from HTML and is more restrictive. My intent is to show you how to use the more restrictive XHTML structure while remaining compatible with the traditional HTML. For reference, I am using HTML Revision 4.01 and XHTML Revision 1.0. By the way, when I use the term HTML in these videos, I am generically referring to both HTML and XHTML. So now let's get started. I'm going to be creating an HTML file using Notepad. An HTML file is a text file, so you can use just about any text editor. There are some very nice HTML editors available, but for now I'm just going to use Notepad. I'm going to start by typing HTML enclosed in angle brackets. These angle brackets are the less than and the greater than signs on your keyboard. Now I'm going to jump down a few lines and I'm going to type a forward slash followed by HTML and all of that's going to be enclosed in angle brackets. These are called tags. Tags are what make up the HTML language. They contain instructions that tell the web browser what to do. You'll notice that tags start and end with angle brackets. The text that appears right after the opening angle bracket is called the element. The element describes what kind of tag this is. In this case, the HTML element tells the web browser that this is an HTML file. Down at the bottom here, this tag starts with a forward slash. The slash is used to close the element. All elements eventually need to be closed after they are opened. So this tag on top here opens the HTML element and this tag on the bottom here closes the HTML element. Opening and closing an element is another way of saying that you are starting and ending something. In this case, we are starting the HTML program here at the top, and we are ending the HTML program here at the bottom. Everything contained between these two tags is considered to be the HTML program. So now I'm going to type a head element, and again, this is enclosed in angle brackets and I'm also going to close the element. So I'll type a forward slash followed by head. And just like before, the head element is opened with this tag, and the head element is closed with this tag. The head section contains information about our HTML file, like the title, for instance. For now, I'm going to be leaving the head section empty but we will be coming back to it shortly. Now let's add a body section to our file. We do this by typing body and then closing that in angle brackets. And I'll go down a few lines. And I'll type a forward slash followed by body and then close all of that in angle brackets. The body section is for content that will be displayed when we view it using a web browser. So let's go ahead and add some text that we would like displayed. This is a line of text. Now we have an HTML file. We have an opening HTML element, and we have a closing HTML element, and we have a head section, and we have a body section, and we have a line of text that we would like to display. I'm going to save this file to my hard drive and I've created a demo directory that I'm going to put this file into and let's call this file 
first.html. HTML file names should end in either .html or .htm. Now I can press save. Now let's go over and open up our file in a web browser. I use Firefox web browser, but other web browsers should work also. Typically when you enter the address of a web page, it starts with www. But since we are accessing an HTML file on the local hard drive, a different format is used. We can type file colon and three forward slashes and C because the file is located on my local C drive and then a forward slash and then demo because that's the directory that I put the file into and then another forward slash and then first.html and then I can hit enter and as you'll notice a line of text pops up and this is the line of text that we typed in our HTML file. And you'll also notice that above the line of text in the tab that this displays the location and name of our HTML file. But we typically want the tab to display a description of the web page. So let's go back over to our HTML file and add a title to the head section. I'm going to add a line after the head element and then I'm going to add a couple of spaces. This will make it easier to read. It's called indenting and although it's not required it makes the file more readable. And then I add a tag for an opening title element. Then I type the text that I would like to appear on the tab in the web browser. So we'll call this first page and then I'll add a tag to close the title element. And again, the closing tag starts with a forward slash. Now I need to save my changes. And we go back to the web browser now. And since we have already typed the location of the HTML file, all we need to do is press the refresh button to reload the new HTML file. So now you can see that the tab says first page. So there's a basic example of using HTML. So as a quick review, our HTML file started with a tag for opening an HTML element and it ended with a tag for closing an HTML element. The rest of our HTML program is located between these two tags. Then we added tags to define the head section and the body section. And we added text to the body section that we wanted to display on the web browser. And then finally we added a title which appeared on the tab in the web browser. That concludes this video. Thanks for watching.